coming up on uh, 10 years since I got hit by a truck and was dying in a puddle of blood. It was a wake up call for me and ever since I've been uh, trying to live a Christian life. Before I got hit, I wasn't living right. I was a hot shot tattoo artist. Most of my customers were women. I'm working at a shop on the beach. They didn't wear many clothes. And I was married back then too. So you can imagine how much of a strain that was on my, my marriage. I had a, a good woman at home that loved me, but hated how I made a living. She was proud of me on the one hand for being successful and bringing home the bacon, but she wasn't happy about the way I was doing it. It was a lot of stress, a lot of arguing. Plus, I had a little teenage daughter growing up with a daddy doing that kind of stuff and I wasn't a, a very good role model for her either. I was a Christian back then too. I believed in Jesus since I was a kid. But uh, I kind of drifted away from the church as a teenager and just never Never went back. And uh, I justified what I was doing by bringing home a pocket full of cash every night. You know, I'm thinking, well, I'm a good guy. I'm taking care of my family. I'm paying my bills. You know, I make enough money that they can give anything they want. And, Whatever I'm doing is alright, but it wasn't. Well, anyway, when I was laying in that puddle of blood dying, you know, I was checking out. And I knew it. And I looked at my life out. Pointless it all seemed. All the time I wasted chasing that dollar bill, and all the time that I wasted being working seven days a week, never home, with two people that loved me that didn't even see me but for a, a couple hours a day, maybe. And that, you know, all that money I was making didn't amount to a hill of beans. It wasn't going to buy back all the years I'd wasted chasing, chasing the dollar bill. Anyway, like I say, I begged him for another chance and he gave me one. And, uh... You know, I got out of the tattoo business after that. It's hard to give it up. And I missed it for a long time. But the Bible says, you know, when you get serious with God and, you know, start trying to, you know, live the way He wants you to, that uh, He'll make you a new creature. But I didn't feel like a new creature. I, I didn't feel any different. You know, I'm thinking, man, maybe I've missed it somewhere. You know, I know some people, you know, they change immediately when, when they accept Jesus as their Savior and try to do right. But the only thing changed about me was my lifestyle. You know, I still had all the same thoughts going through my head. And like I say, I was 
times where I, I missed my old life. But, uh, you know, over the years, little by little, I finally got to a place where I didn't miss it that much. Anyway, now here I am ten years later and I don't miss it at all. These past ten years have been the best years of my life. You know, my, I spent them, spent them right here with my, my family, my wife and my daughter. And it's been great. Getting hit by the truck was probably the best thing that could have happened to me. Well, anyway, uh, maybe just somebody out there that's uh, my new Christian trying to change their lifestyle and, and walk with Jesus. And maybe they're feeling like they're not seeing much of a change either. Feeling like I did that maybe they missed it somehow. But all I can tell you is hang in there. You know, hopefully it won't take you 10 years to uh, figure it out. But the Bible don't lie. And when it says he'll make you a new creature, he will. Hopefully it won't take as long for you as it did for me, but hang in there, it'll happen. I'll catch you later.